We are in a very unique position because we could talk to people who've been in this beekeeping industry, working with wild bees for generations. And it's been handed from one family to the other. And uh, interestingly, what we find is that the beekeepers are talking about a decline in bees. And what the causes are, we really don't know. But as scientists, we have to investigate this. But one thing we know is that uh, there's been a bit of deforestation. Um, people are clearing forest for agricultural production, which means that bees are now being introduced to areas or introduced to new things like fertilizers, which have to be used for improved you know, food production, and also, of course, pesticide. The issue about landscape changing, it's something that we have to look at in the bigger picture. Is it just a localized situation? or it's across the board and is it beyond Kenya into other African countries. What we've been very excited about since last week is that we've signed an agreement with the European Union for 12 million dollars to do bee research in Africa. My institution is going to serve as a, a reference laboratory to look at pesticide residues, we're going to be looking at viruses, we're going to be looking at pests and we're going to be involved in training of beekeepers uh, the national programs in various parts of Africa. We're going to be doing it in partnership with the African Union Interbureau for Animal Research. They will be involved in the outreach and we'll do the research aspect of it. So it's quite exciting that we're going to be doing this. And the kind of information we get eventually we're going to share with various agencies including the United Nations Environmental Program. We've worked with them in the past in biodiversity issues. We collaborators from Penn State University because in the United States they have a lot of expertise in bee diseases and we did some work with them in the last two years all over Kenya we actually started from the forest area that the little rainforest left within Kenya we worked with them and went all the way to the coast of Kenya and what we found was that some of the diseases that are associated with European bees are now being introduced into Kenya so this is actually an alarm, you know, it's a situation that calls for concern. We, know, we don't know how widespread this is going to be eventually, but at least we do find pockets of it. And I think an, an intervention that has to, there has to be an intervention now um, before it gets too late.